This is a gun and suppressor combo that no one else in the world has right now. It's one of one. We've taken the Browning Buckmark carbine and turned it into one of the coolest guns that I own, easily. And we're gonna dive into it after this. TA Targets offer some of the most innovative and robust target systems money can buy. Featuring AR-550 steel and forward-thinking build quality, these targets are built to last. Whether you're blasting every day or plinking on the weekends, TA Targets has something for everyone. To get 10% off of anything you order, use the code TGC10 over at tacticalar500targets.com. My journey as a gun owner has always been a bit of a roller coaster. I've never really enjoyed doing things the same way as other people, and that's kind of how I ended up with this thing. We've called it the Serenity, and essentially it's an integrally suppressed Browning Buckmark carbine. My first 22 pistol was a Buckmark, and I loved it so much that when I learned that they made a carbine version, I had to have it. It was actually on a trip to Georgia where I bought it, standing next to Eric and Chad from IV8888. Hanging out with those guys are some of my favorite memories in recent years. It's a really cool gun shop they took me to. Fast forward a bit, and I had become friends with a guy named Kyle Gropp. Kyle is the namesake behind KG Made and what is now KGM Technologies. I don't know how, but I managed to convince Kyle to take on this project to turn this heavy barreled plinker into one of the coolest guns around. Long story shorter, this is what we came up with. The Serenity is a Browning Buckmark carbine with a barrel that has been machined to become baffles for a suppressor, and then a lightweight tube has been added over the top. The tube is meant to contain all the gases and such. And then on top of that, everything was Cerakoted in this really nice gray color. It looks really, really good against this dark laminate furniture that actually came on the gun. The shooting experience is a lot like what you'd expect. The gun weighs almost nothing. It's super lightweight, especially with a lot of that material taken out of the nose. It's really easy to swing around and just plink away and just like it's going out of style. It's bing, 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 <laughs> You're like a little kid. Not only that, but the factory Buckmark trigger is really good, shockingly good for this. It's not the lightest out there, but I really like the clean break that you get from it. It's the same on my pistol and rifle. And of course, it's gold. <laughs> so my inner flashy guy says yes for that. I love gold. In terms of how it sounds, well, that's something I want you guys to judge with me. With supersonic bulk pack stuff, the gun runs well most of the time, as you would expect from cheap bulk pack stuff. But it is also reasonably quiet. If we drop the ammo speed down to something like the CCI Quiet, the gun just won't run consistently. It maybe like every five rounds it'll cycle. Even though it's ultra quiet, that stuff is amazing, intentional. Funny enough, I actually had a few of the quiet rounds, the CCI quiet, sound louder with almost a pop coming out of the ejection port as it was trying to cycle the gun. No idea why, strange. Maybe one day I'll pull out the high-speed camera and try to diagnose what's really going on there, but whatever. The best ammo combination I could find for reliability and sound is my gold standard for suppressor testing, CCI standard velocity. It's a lot louder at the gun. Mm -hmm. right. Whatever's left in the dirt. This thing is just so neat. It's just so cool. On our range at about sea level, this stuff works so well. It just runs the gun really reliably. We almost never have any malfunctions. And since it's subsonic, the gun is super quiet. The negatives come from the fact that the gun is based off a 22 pistol designed many years back. The mag release makes sense for use as a handgun, but not when it's a carbine. It's basically a handgun with a longer barrel and a stock at it. I had to use my support hand to release mags most of the time when we were doing this. 
Not a huge deal, just an adjustment. The other negative is the 10 round mags. I've never actually seen buckmark mags with higher capacity, so I'm kind of stuck there, but I don't know, maybe I need to hit up like Tandem Cross or some aftermarket company for some trinkets for this project. But those are pretty much the only negatives I have. I should also note that KGM machined the top of the factory barrel to accept this Picatinny rail that I added for optics. It came with a weaver rail that was curved for that bull barrel. We had to make a flat spot. All in all, this Browning Buckmark slash KGM Serenity is unique, it really is, and absolutely a buttload of fun to shoot, an official buttload. All right, Adam, do you want to shoot? Red. <laughs> this thing's rad. <laughs> this is so cool. Whether I'm taking a newbie to the range or some like real deal operator that we're shooting with, this is one of the guns in my collection that gets everybody giggling. It's just a laughable gun. It's so much fun. That's my favorite kind of gun. At the end of the day, if we aren't enjoying ourselves at the range, what are we doing? Now, like I said at the beginning of the video, this is not a product you can just go buy. KGM doesn't offer these as a standard product, and to be honest, I'm not sure if they ever will. However, I do know the rest of the stuff they make is pretty rad too, so they're worth checking out as a company. If you guys enjoyed this look at the Serenity and you want to see more silencer videos, be sure to hit the like button to let the algorithm know. Feed me! I'm starving! Must be blood. Must be fresh. Feed me. And of course, if you want to see more stuff from us here at the Gun Collective, be sure to get subscribed and hit the notification button. And as always, thank you all for watching. We'll see you soon. What's your superhero name? Oh, Jesus, I don't know. Will you pick? Ketchup man. That's accurate. Anyone who ever eats uh, chicken nuggets and has no ketchup, you will just appear in their living room to hand them ketchup because what you know like that ketchup? that is. Like, why would I give it away? Because you want to share your love with the world. You're ketchup man. All right, I'll take that. And you know that being out of ketchup is the biggest uh, tragedy that someone can face. Glad Izzy, but find. I really want Izzy to find some kind of gift that works for ketchup man.